Welcome to Season 4 of Maker Club by EE Focus in partnership with the Hackaday Innovators, a world-renowned hardware innovation contest, and DigiKey, a global leader of distribution of electronic components and automation products worldwide. As our long-term partner, DigiKey will continue to support makers embarking on a journey of innovation, exploring the possibilities of technology, and creating a better new world together. DSAP Fomacong Loic Joffrey is an experienced CASA certified drone pilot, micro drone certified instructor, and Cameroon TM education ambassador. He also serves as the coordinator of the Cameroon Flight Club and Youth Team and is the founder of RobotSave. As an IoT integrator for Candor Weather and an envoy for Twin Sciences, he brings a wealth of knowledge to his roles. You wear many hats as the founder of RobotSave a drone pilot, and an education ambassador. Could you introduce yourself and briefly discuss the key responsibilities in each of these roles? I am Desa Fumokon Luigi Kwe, a master research student specialized in radio communication system in complex environment from the University of Gustave Eiffel, France. I also hold a master degree in uh, System Embedded Electronics Engineering and Applied Physics from NTCAL, still based in France, and also hold two bachelor degree, one bachelor degree in radio communication from National Advanced School of Post and Telecommunication, and another bachelor degree in mechatronics for space industry from University of Versailles Saint Quentin in France. I actively contribute to technology and education through various roles. Number one from a uh, founder of RobotSafe. So we focus on developing a farm bot capable of monitoring and collecting soil data, environmental data with precise geolocalization. The system predicts suitable, suitable crops for specific location based on the collected data, optimizing agricultural productivity. As micro drone and educator, we provide STEM focused training in drone building, programming, piloting, and mission planning in order to empower the youth in aerospace technology and diverse drones application. As education ambassador, I am committed to equip young people with problem solving skills through hands on STEM workshop and competition, inspiring the future innovators to tackle the global challenge using technology. Let's start with robotics. What specific problems did your first robot aim to solve? How did this experience shape your subsequent work in robotics? The specific problem that my robot solved is, firstly, we designed the robot to address the challenge of climate deregulation, which make it difficult to the farmer to select the most profitable and suitable crops for their soil condition. A lot of decentralized uh, weather data and real-time climate prediction further complicate the agricultural decision making. So our aim is to provide that decentralized data and the prediction in order to help the farmer in the decision making. So, and uh, this project reinforces my belief in the power of robots to create mindful impact. It encouraged me to develop solutions tailored to real world needs, emphasizing data-driven decision-making in agriculture. What was the initial motivation behind founding RobotSafe? How did you lead RobotSafe to win multiple competitions? And could you share some key experiences and factors that contributed to those victories? I founded RobotSafe with a vision of demonstrating how robotics can leverage to solve pressing global challenges. My goal was to build a robot that could directly benefit my community and showcase the positive impact of the technology in improving life. Our success was rooted in one, developing a minimum valuable product and continuously refining it based on real world testing. Two, collecting, analyzing, utilizing environmental data to optimize the robot's performance. Three, engaging in irritative development through trial and error, adapting design, 
based on practical insights. Four, building a strong multidisciplinary team that combine technical experience with innovative thinking. What are the key technologies used in RobotSafe? Sensor data, collection, LoRa network, video transmission? What were the main technical challenges in designing and developing RobotSafe? And how did you overcome them? Normally, in RobotSafe, that is the farm board that we built, we use first the sensor data collection process is cons consists of and environmental sensors integrated to an Arduino microcontrollers. And the sensors as the temperature sensor, humidity sensor, various gas sensors that sense carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, oxygen, uh, ammonia at the same time. And it has also the possibility to make a direct tracking that is we use that, that, that is we use uh, a GPS based tracking location that is also considered as a sensor. And we have also thermal camera and thermal temperature sensor. We use another technology for for a long range communication of data transfer and robot controlling system based on LoRa and NRF24. So the LoRa one is a remote data transmission system that allows minimum and low power energy consumption for data transfer over a long distance. For the video transmission system, so uh, the, our robot uses a video transmission system based on FPV video transmission. And as I mentioned before, the NRF based video communication for real time control of the robot, that is the con to control the movement of the robot during for the robot to perform the survey because the robot also move the robot is semi-automatic so as the robot move it collects data at the same time and we control it at a distance using a joystick based on NRF technology firstly the power distribution system so the power distribution system was designed effectively through a circuit board in order to ensure stable power supply so we had some challenging in designing because we had like many design of the power system distribution. Number two, the long range data transmission. So for the long range data transmission, we use various models, various transmission uh, transmission models such as NRF, LoRa, and they were being selected through their faster way of transmitting data and also the bandwidth. Obstacle navigation system. Designing a robust chassis capable of handling diverse terrain. That is, we chose various chassis. So the chassis was basically the 4WD chassis, the 6WD chassis. But the 6WD chassis is a, in fact, 6 and 4 WDs means that is the number of wheels that are directly embedded on the robot for its movement. So the 6WD chassis was the best one that we selected at the end, such that the robot should, should overcome all the obstacles during the survey in the, in the given environment. We overcame this, uh, this challenging by irritating through multiple prototypes, leveraging online resources, and integrating expert feedback into developing process. As a CASA certified drone pilot, and micro drone certification coach, what important drone projects have you participated in? Meanwhile, how has your role influenced your other related projects? As a CASA certified drone pilot and micro drone certification coach, the most in fact, uh, the important project that I have participated in, basically, one, coordinating drone uh, drone based survey in the northern region of Cameroon. So the objective was to use the drone for mapping and topography in order to implant solar panel in that region. Number two, organizing drone piloting, programming and mission planning workshop for students and professionals in schools, especially in areas where access to proper training is very limited. My experience with drones has strengthened my technical skills and deepened my understanding of the real world application and of the autonomous system, reinforcing my work in robotics and IoT-driven solution. In candor weather, what are your primary responsibilities? And how do they help solve real-world problems? I work as an IoT integrator specialist, helping to develop LoRa 1-based network 
for LoRa for weather data transmission. This project involves launching of weather balloon station and installing of weather station in order to provide decentralized weather data that will benefit the farmer by providing real-time climate insight for better agricultural decision making. How does your current study in embedded systems and applied physics at Incisin relate to your past experiences and projects? How will it influence your future projects and innovative work? My academic background strengthens my ability to design, prototype, and implement advanced embedded systems for robotics and IoT applications. This knowledge will drive my future innovation, particularly in autonomous system and environmental monitoring solution. What specific support would you like to enhance your innovation journey? Providing STEM robotics and drone education, that is, access to STEM kit and IoT tools to develop structural training program, support, support for organizing workshop and competition in underprivileged region. Number two, in-kind support and component donation. Access to essential electronic component, sensors, microcontroller for STEM projects. Partnership opportunity with DigitKey for knowledge sharing and technology access. Number three, scaling robot safe bots product. Support development, testing, and production. Access to lower run models and additional sensor hardware to enhance collection capability. How can innovators in engineering and technology collaborate to create a better future? Collaboration among innovators is key to solving complex global challenges. By combining diverse expertise, fostering open innovation, and forming strategic partnership with industry leaders like GDQ. We can develop impactful technology solutions that can drive societal progress. What are your personal visions or goals for the future? What other areas might you explore on your path to achieving them? I aspire to continue advancing robotics and AI-driven solutions for agriculture and environmental monitoring. Expand STEM education initiative to inspire and train the next generation and innovator. Explore space technology application, particularly in satellite communication and autonomous explore, uh, exploration system. By bridging technology advancement with real-world application, I aim to contribute to more to a more sustainable and innovative future. DigiKey.